So I think what everybody wants to know right now about MS is in relationship to the coronavirus. MS is a disease of the immune system where the immune system is actually misdirected and the immune system attacks the central nervous system. So MS by itself is not a disease of immune suppression. It's actually a disease of an overactive immune system. MS patients are no more likely to get the coronavirus than anyone else. However, because MS is a disease of an overactive immune system, our treatments are geared at calming down the immune system. We have more than 18 drugs out now that treat MS. The problem is some of them, newer drugs, can have some fairly profound effects on the immune system. And that is something that we have to take into account right now. Nothing we would have predicted six months ago, certainly not you know, two months ago even, in making a decision about a treatment choice for a patient. So right now, the advice to patients is, all MS patients, as we all are told right now we need to do, social distancing. That means do not go anywhere where you could get sick. I think that also for a lot of MS patients means, in particular, their families need to be very, very diligent about also following this. It's almost spring break. People want to go on the trips. We're not going on trips. You need to clean your hands. You don't, we're not going to go to concerts now. There are lots of things that people need to do to keep themselves safe. The other thing people uh, with MS on some of these disease-modifying therapies to treat their MS need to do is to talk to their neurologist about their drug. Is this a drug to continue right now? If it's something that's given IV, should we wait? Should we delay it? Which drugs have a profound effect, which have less? It's gonna be a case-by-case -case conversation with each patient and each neurologist about the treatments right now. And it's wonderful that we have so many treatment options for MS, but this is a, this is a different time and we need to plan and think about strategies to keep people safe. However, some drugs stopping them abruptly can lead to a, an abrupt MS relapse. So it's gotta be very balanced. And you've gotta make sure that um, each patient is in the situation that we're controlling the disease as best as we can and not putting them at undue risk.